we obviously saw the amazing boom that was happening in Schenectady. The casino had just got approved along with the Mohawk Harbor project. So we thought, what a great time to invest. We had the site itself. We had a motel on site. It was a 16 unit motel uh, that we actually purchased in 1983. Uh, but of course we were trying to forecast what the hotel landscape would look like after a few years of planning and development. So uh, now obviously there's about 600 uh, rooms of inventory uh, that had been built over the past three years. Uh, so those are primarily upper mid scale and we're trying to find our place uh, to, to, to really fit in and complement what's already existing. Yeah, so how does this hotel complement or stand out from that upper mid-scale? Yeah, um, so obviously there's the landing, the double tree, courtyard, Homewood, uh, some really amazing properties out uh, right near the casino project. And so we figured the best options for us to uh, find our niche and find our areas of opportunity was to uh, provide a really quality product uh, with some really exceptional service but with the best pricing possible. So uh, the price piece is really where we landed on that mid-scale segment because from the upper mid-scale uh, there isn't really anything in between that upper mid-scale and the economy type properties. So uh, the Comfort Inn and Suites gives us the chance to really take advantage of offering that great rate, but having the service to back it up as well. Uh, so we're a 65 room property. Uh, we're gonna have 22 suites, and uh, we have an indoor pool, a hot tub, and sauna. Uh, we have three different meeting spaces, uh, a 12 person boardroom, a 50 person meeting room, and an outdoor event space as well. What kind of involvement did you have in the family business, you know, maybe growing up? Yeah, you know, growing up in a family business is interesting. I have an older brother and an older sister, and, uh, you know, I think something that we learned along the way was uh, prioritization of responsibility at a young age because, uh, you know, it was, it was really the same as everyone else. We had chores. They just happened to be different types of chores. You know, we would, instead of taking out the trash, we would be cleaning hotel rooms and, uh, you know, we'd be sweeping the parking lot and checking people in and ensuring, you know, checking in, making sure their stay's going okay. So it's a really nice foundational base to grow up around and having those people in your life who are constantly working hard just to keep growing. Now, I know your family's been in business here for a while and involved in real estate, um, starting when your grandfather uh, immigrated to the country. I mean, what does this project mean for your family as kind of like a step forward? It's, it's the biggest step, I mean, for us. I mean, this is by far the biggest project we've, we've ever done. And, uh, you know, my, my father's uh, dad and my grandfather, he... I can't even imagine what he would be thinking right now. You know, he immigrated in the 70s with six kids and, uh, you know, he had a fourth grade education. So he was one of those guys that, you know, he, he, he did it all. You know, he, he was able to start these businesses and he was able to uh, raise these kids and put them through school. And, uh, you know, that was just something that we, we couldn't even believe that he did. And, it's only, it's only right that we continue on his legacy of consistent growth and pushing further and, you know, applying our education and our talents to just continue in the family legacy.